This man is standing on a cable car to pee. Suddenly the cable car starts. He was almost thrown off the cliff. Fortunately, he was pulled by a friend in time to escape. At this moment the caretaker was oiling the gears in the operator's room. But the key around his neck was accidentally caught in the gear. It strangled the old man directly by his neck. He was hung up by his neck. He struggled to get a steel pipe and threw it into the equipment. It caught the gears and caused the electrical box to burst. The cable car came to a halt. The caretaker was already hanging from the gears and stopped breathing. Several people on the cable car were trapped in the middle of the cable. They thought it was just a minor fault and didn't take it seriously. An early New Year's Eve celebration. Fireworks and wine. They were having a great time. Little did they know that danger was approaching them. The next day when they woke up, they found the cable car still in midair. They waited for hours but no one came to rescue them. They climbed to the roof to see what was happening. They found that the cable car was not too far from the ground. They could use the ropes to get down. So they went back inside and looked for a rope. And they found a rope. They tied the rope to the handle. The other end of the rope was tied to their bodies. The three men started to slowly lower the man down. It went well at first. The man saw that he was not far from the ground. So he threw his skis down first. But as a result, the ground collapsed instantly. It turns out that it wasn't the ground at all, but an abyss. The man was terrified. He called out to his companions to retrieve the rope. But they couldn't hear the shouts from inside the cable car. They continued to send the rope down. The man had to climb up himself. But then an accident happened. The man suddenly slipped and fell, and brought Ellen down with him from the cable car. The rope kept slipping and Anna grabbed it. The two men were instantly hanging from a rope. Luckily, Anna was holding onto the rope. She was struggling to hold on. But the strength of a woman is no match for the weight of two men. The rope was slipping a little. Alan saw the situation was not good. Without hesitation, he took out his knife. He cuts the rope below. The men fall into the cliff. Alan sacrifices his teammate and climbs up himself. The girl is devastated to see her boyfriend gone. She takes the knife and forces Alan down to save him. But the next moment she suddenly collapses to the ground. It turns out that her thigh was stabbed by the handle that had just broken off. She was bleeding profusely. Anna took off her coat and put it on her. Then she put a belt around her thigh. She gave her a simple treatment to stop the bleeding. Then the sound of a helicopter came from outside. Alan rushed to the roof of the car and shouted. He asked Anna to come up with fireworks to give the signal. But by the time Anna came up, it was too late. The plane was long gone. In desperation, Alan took it out on Anna. He pushed her away from him. But Anna fell to the ground and sat on the roof of the car. And she locked the hood of the car. This is the end. Neither of them could get out. The girl inside was already in a coma. She had no power to open the door for them. Alan was desperate. He started to do something horrific to Anna. A man and a woman are trapped on top of a cable car. The weather has reached minus 30 degrees Celsius. The two men were shivering from the cold. At the bottom there is a deep abyss. The only way out is for one person to climb down the cable car, through the front door, then open the skylight and let the other one in. But Alan is too scared to go down himself. He forced Anna to go down and open the door for him. Seeing Alan approaching step by step, Anna picked up the firework stick from the ground. She lit them up and pointed them at him to stop him from getting close to her, but the fireworks soon burned out. Alan took out his knife and approached Anna. He was knocked down by Anna's fist, and his clothes were set alight by the fireworks. He hurriedly took off his jacket and threw it away. Enraged, Alan broke an iron bar from the cable car. Anna saw this and climbed down the cable car. Alan kept hitting the roof of the cable car. Anna almost fell several times. In the crisis, Anna found the key and opened the door. She finally got the door open and got into the car, but that wasn't all. Alan was up there prying the roof cover with a crowbar. Anna rushed over and held onto the handle for dear life, as Alan removed the support points of the cable car, and the strength of the two men against each other. The cable car lost its balance. Alan fell off the cable car. Anna fell heavily to the ground. She passed out of the escape hatch. From this angle, Anna was just one turn away from falling off the cliff. I don't know how long it took. When Anna woke up, suddenly found Alan crawling in through the escape hatch, and sticking a knife into Anna's hand. Luckily it was a dream. Because of the cold weather, and not moving for a long time, Anna's hand was already stuck to the iron plate. She had no choice but to force her hand open through the pain. Anna screamed in pain. Seeing that her best friend was freezing to death, Anna crawled over to get her jacket back. She then disinfected her hand and bandaged it briefly. By now it was storming outside. The cold wind was coming up through the escape hatch. Anna brought some skis to seal the hole. She then found a pile of debris and lit it on fire to keep warm. Just when she felt a little warmth, the glass of the cable car was suddenly broken by a falling part. The wind blew out the fire, and Anna's hopes were dashed. But she didn't give up. She grabbed her kite and colored lights and stuffed them into her backpack. When the screw on top of the cable car suddenly came off, Anna was thrown against the glass. The glass is about to break. Anna's life was in danger. Just in the nick of time, the body of her best friend suddenly fell down. Anna rolled over and was able to escape. But that wasn't all. The gondola is already shaking and can't hold on. 
Anna tries to climb on the roof, but the roof was jammed. Anna rushed to get a fire extinguisher, smashed the sunroof. She accidentally hit the jet. Anna fell to the ground. Luckily, the roof was open, and Anna climbed up immediately. But suddenly, the cable car fell and crashed into the cliff. The alarm at the bottom of the mountain instantly went off. The staff were informed that there had been an accident with a cable car on the mountain. Immediately called for a search and rescue team to come. At this point, Anna's boyfriend, who hadn't been able to contact them for a few days, he came straight to the mountain to look for them. Luckily, they stopped a snowplow halfway up the mountain. They went straight to the gondola station. At the entrance to the cable car station, the men overlooked. There was a flashing kite in the sky. It turns out that just as the cable car was falling, Anna was clinging to the support of the cable car, shivering in the cold on the stand. She insisted on taking the kite out and flying it. The kite flew higher and higher. That's when her boyfriend on the ground saw it. The man knew that his girlfriend was still in the cable car. He immediately rushed into the control room. He sees a steel pipe stuck in the runner. He couldn't pull it out with all his strength. He had to get the help of a snowplow to get the pipe out. The staff immediately activated the backup circuit. The cable car was able to operate normally. Anna was finally rescued. When Anna was rescued, the first thing she saw was her boyfriend in front of her.